Oh, welcome back, Salmon Friends. Today is the day where we get to talk about something really fun, something that happens once a year, but everybody gets super excited for. Today we are talking wild salmon, and it starts tomorrow. So starting tomorrow, we will have Wild Troll Cot King available for the first time of the season. So you'll wanna definitely get in on that early, get those grills fired up, ready to go, cause this is gonna be perfect. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of an indoor version of something you could easily do outside in the grill and probably should do outside in the grill uh, since it's absolutely gorgeous out. And I think it's supposed to stay that way for the weekend. So we're going to cook up a really nice kind of honey mustard glazed salmon. Uh, when you're working with wild salmon, you don't want to do things that are gonna take over the salmon. You want to really be able to highlight the natural flavors that are there, especially since this is such a great product. So what I'm gonna do is just build a little simple glaze for this. So I've got some just Dijon mustard here, and I've got some honey from our friends over at Ames Farm, and I'm just gonna add the honey to the salmon, mostly kind of equal parts here. And I'm just gonna sort of stir this together and create a nice little sticky glaze, which is going to be beautiful. So I'm just going to stir this all together until we have thoroughly combined it, like so. So you can see it's kind of nice and it's got a good consistency to it. And I'm also going to hit it with a little apple cider vinegar for just a little bit of acidity. Just a few drops here, not a lot. And that's just gonna kind of waken everything up and give us a very, very nice, nice glaze here. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna take this glaze and I'm gonna just kind of drizzle it over my salmon, like so. And I'm just gonna sort of brush it around, kind of coat all those edges, like so. And I'm gonna season it with a bit of salt, like so. Now again, this is the kind of thing you would absolutely wanna do on the grill. You could even do this as a cedar plank preparation, which would be great. We do carry the cedar planks. So that's something that you could do. Again, exactly the same thing, you just put it on a cedar plank on your grill. Or if you don't have the cedar planks, just right on the grill grates is fine. Just make sure it's well oiled and hot. So I'm gonna get some vegetable oil into my pan and I'm gonna get this salmon going. So I'm gonna put it in skin side up first because I wanna get a good caramelization going on that glaze. So I'm gonna get this started and then what I'm gonna do is I'll flip the salmon to finish it to get that nice sort of crispy skin because that's gonna be key to this type of salmon. So I've got my glaze going. You can hear it just ripping away kind of searing off on the pan. And what I want to do is I've got some garlic cloves here that I'm just going to kind of smash to get the oils going. Now these are still in the skins. And I'm just going to throw this in to kind of help season that oil. So skins are going to help protect the salmon from burning because we don't want to have that happen. So I'm just going to toss this into the oil along with a sprig of fresh, fresh rosemary, which I'm just going to kind of bend and ding a little bit to get those oils working too. So we've got that working. We can grab a little spoon here. Like so. And I can see that we're starting to develop a pretty good crust on that bottom there. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this salmon. That's great. It's exactly what we want. I've got a nice caramelized crust on the top. And now I'm gonna let it finish on the bottom and uh, get that skin nice and crisp. I'm also going to go ahead and add a bit more of this glaze to the top, like so, because we want to kind of build a nice lacquer of the glaze. There we go. It's looking beautiful there. And I've got my rosemary and my garlic infusing that oil, which again is what I want. So I'm going to do. Since I'm doing this in a pan and not on the grill, I'm just gonna baste the salmon a little bit with some of this hot oil. 
to kind of start to, again, caramelize that honey mustard that's up on top there. Move that out of the way. This is looking really good. Again, this goes pretty quick. I mean, this is a pretty thick piece of salmon, uh, but it still goes fairly quickly. Uh, and again, that nice, fatty, wild king is going to be beautiful. So I'm going to add in some asparagus sprigs here and let these kind of start to cook off. And it's just that smell of rosemary and garlic is beautiful. I love it. Again, salmon season, always just a great time of year. Uh, we get calls all year round wanting to know about wild salmon. And while we do carry... Our, uh, the previously frozen coho from our friends at Shoreline Wild. That wild salmon season, you just can't argue with that. And again, we'll probably get more stuff from them too. I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit here. I think we're going pretty good. And I just want to let that salmon just sort of finish cooking its way through. So I'm going to poke it. Still a little rare. So again, I want that to finish through. So I'm just turning it down and letting it do its thing. Again, that rosemary smells gorgeous. The garlic is really permeating that oil. Really nice. Again, this is, this is really simple food, but again, it's gorgeous. Uh, it gets really, this is a great way to just kind of lightly elevate your salmon, do something a bit different with it. Uh, and if you have questions, definitely feel free to tune in and ask. Let me give you a little shot into the pan here. So you can kind of see what we're working with without trying to spill that oil. We got that nice glaze on that salmon and that skin is crisping up with that vegetable oil that's been infused with all that beautiful rosemary and garlic. So again, really, really nice. That salmon is getting near done. Toss my asparagus just a little bit here. And then you notice you know, I've got some extra of this honey mustard dressing left, and we'll just use that to finish. You can use it as just a sauce uh, to finish that salmon and be really, really nice. So just beautiful stuff. Uh, and I know that we have a lot of salmon fans out there. Again, it's easily one of the most popular things that we've got and do, and it's, it's almost like the blue crab season with wild salmon. So you're going to want to, you know, call in tomorrow right away and get your orders placed. We will wind up putting it online for sure. So definitely pay attention to that. So let's go ahead and remove our salmon from the pan. I'm gonna set it off to the side here for a minute. That skin got nice and crusty. And we're just gonna finish off the asparagus, which is just about done. Just need a little bit of salt, like so. Perfect. And you see how quickly this took. This goes, again, very quick. This is delicious food that doesn't take long. Perfect for a barbecue. Again, this would ideally be done on a grill, uh, for sure. But today we're doing it in a pan indoors because it gets very busy outside here, and we have a lot of customers in our parking lot right now, so it gets a little loud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this, turn my pan off. This has done what it needs to do. Move my honey out of the way, and then we can just plate up, and we've got a beautiful, again, plate of food. So simple, so easy. Let me grab a plate. So, got my plate. Take my asparagus spears, and I'll plate those down first. Just kind of like so. Again, we don't have to be super fancy and fussy about it. Just put the asparagus down, however it falls. And then, I'm gonna take this beautiful piece of salmon and set it right on top. Now, of course, you want to garnish with just a little bit of lemon. Pop the 
Go seeds out. Boom. Boom. Ah, come on, there we go. And then we can let's go ahead and wipe a little of this extra on the plate. And we can just go ahead and drizzle around the plate with a little bit of this honey mustard. And we have one amazing taste of spring right here. Again, this, friends, is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful glaze on that salmon, nice and sticky. But again, this isn't gonna overpower the salmon. It's just gonna highlight the flavors, the kind of natural sweetness that's in there. Um, that little bit of acidity from the vinegar is gonna cut some of that fat, because again, the king salmon is real, real fatty, but really beautiful. Just nice, we've got that asparagus down there. It just doesn't get much better than that. Um, one of my favorite things of all time, so delicious. Definitely consider making this this weekend, especially if it's gonna be as beautiful as it seems. Right now it's gorgeous out there, but again, we won't have this until tomorrow. So definitely pay attention for that. Um, and as always, we'll have a lot more cool stuff to talk about. This has been another really fun week, so really appreciate everybody tuning in. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll happily answer those. Um, if you want to see any other dishes that you're curious about cooking, let me know. We will investigate what we can do to make that happen. Um, we're coming into uh, wild season just in general, so we should have a lot of cool stuff coming up that we'll be talking about, so definitely watch for that. Um, otherwise, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And make this. Make this, please. Look at that. Just that glistening plate of salmon. My lemon's trying to escape, that's fine. They do that sometimes. Beautiful. So this is a great weekend for this. Stay tuned, we'll post more information on it probably later today, so watch close. Otherwise, have a fun weekend, stay safe. We'll be back next week with more stuff. We're open all weekend, 10 to four, Saturday and Sunday. Open till six today, get those orders in, and we will talk to you soon. Stay safe.